And now it's time for a very spooky edition of the Ice Geeks. Eric, oh, wait, sorry, just a second. Good morning. So, Eric. You use Evian skin cream, and sometimes you wear Lair du Temps, but not today. Tell me you're not going to do the whole video in that stupid voice. Oh, cut me some slack. This is the only time of year I can be open and honest about my cannibalism. You're dressed like a cop. That isn't scary. You're still driving without insurance? <laughs> hmm, yeah. Nothing scarier to a deadbeat than a cop. Which leads us to this week's video, blogging. You're probably wondering how we're going to tie Halloween into blogging, aren't you? Your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. It's simple. A lot of people are irrationally scared of blogging. They think blogging is like an unending high school writing assignment. The truth is, a blog can be both fun and, just as important, draw a lot of attention to your isogenics business. We've talked about blogs a lot in the past when we touched on Twitter, Facebook, websites, and search engines. Look at what you're probably using right now. You have your retail website, which you can add some information to, but it stays largely the same. You use tools like Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, which are great for adding more information about yourself. Still, those posts are limited. You can't post more than a handful of words before you run out of space. Then there's blogging. Yeah! Think of a blog as a hub for everything else you do online. You have your retail website so you can complete transactions. You write the blog so you can get people interested in the products on your retail website. <laughs> Then you post on Twitter, Facebook, G+, wherever, so people can find your blog posts, so they can get interested in your products, so they can buy them off your retail website. And search engines can index your posts, so when people do the right search, they'll find your post, which leads to your retail website again. You can see where this makes sense to have a blog now, right? It greatly increases your chances of being found on the World Wide Web. What scares people about blogs is the idea of writing long essays on it, and often. It doesn't have to be that way. Your blog can and should be a place where you want to write. It's a showcase of your passion and interest. Don't write a long, dry essay three times a week just because you feel you have to. It's no fun for you, and no one will want to read that anyway. Sometimes what you need will only take 500 words. Sometimes it will only take a couple of sentences in the picture. I'm so afraid you're going to break into that stupid voice again. No, that is incidental. So the last thing you need to decide on is which blog site you want to use. There are a lot to choose from, but there are three that we typically recommend. Tumblr, Blogger, and WordPress. These are all good for first-time bloggers because they're free and they're easy to use. Of these, we typically suggest WordPress. The interface is a little more complicated than Tumblr or Blogger, but it has more bells and whistles that help for things like search, comment management, themes, all that. Well, the free version of WordPress certainly isn't bad. WordPress itself will show ads on your blog. If you want more control over your blog, there's a paid version that will keep your site ad-free. We suggest trying out the free version at WordPress.com first. If you like it, think about upgrading to a paid account at WordPress.org. There's just one thing we really suggest you not do with your blog. What? What are you doing? I know what your next line is. <sighs> Fine. Don't cannibalize other people's blog articles. We turn out a lot of content each week on the three Isogenics blog sites. IsaFYI.com, IsogenicsHealth.com, and of course, IcyGeeks.com. Reading our posts to get ideas for your own blog is great. Just don't copy our posts directly into your blog, because it can cause you problems. When Google or Bing sees you've duplicated some other site's content, they may not bother to show your page in search listings. And if people find out there's nothing original happening on your blog, they aren't likely to return much. The point here is to share your own passion, engage readers, and hopefully get them to comment on your posts so you can contact them. If you're just setting up a blog to have one, it won't work. You're much better off if you have stories you want to tell. One way to get people to read your blog is by sending them email updates. We use a free tool called FeedBurner on all of our sites, which allows us to send blog articles out to our subscribers each day we post something. FeedBurner is owned by Google, so it can actually help your blog get indexed by the search engine. Even better, it's free. I said it was free. I said it again. It's free. Even better, once you set it up, you won't have to do anything. FeedBurner will take care of sending out your posts to all of your subscribers as soon as you publish them. 
We'll post about how to set up FeedBurner on the Isaac Geeks blog soon. The next step for you is to go to Tumblr, Blogger, or WordPress and sign up. Start writing today. Now, in fact. See how comfortable you are sharing what's on your mind. Then you can think about the layout that you want, the web address that you want it to have. The blog, you call the shots. Well. What? Go ahead, do it. Do what? Finish up with some idiotic Silence of the Lambs quote. Oh, no, I'm done. But I really need to hit you again. Sorry, I guess I got it out of my system. Oh. Oh, cannibal down. Cannibal down. Ow.